I'm Brad Parker with Monero Marine, and we're back here. This is the fourth video of building this uh, new boat. It's been a while since uh, the last video. Uh, we've been uh, busy uh, actually constructing a new boat, so that's ongoing. But uh, here we are, and uh, we've made some progress. Uh, I'll show you what we've done since, since the last video. I just want to explain uh, to the viewers that don't fully understand uh, what we're doing here and how we create a fiberglass part and a finished boat. Uh, so this is our plug. This is what we call the plug. So this can be made out of whatever material you want. Our particular plug, it's made out of foam, fiberglass, and MDF. So this is the fiberglass part. Uh, this is the MDF. With the, this is the gel coat over top. And the color is different. Yeah, this is a white gel coat uh, from what we use on the finished products. It's the same as the hull. This is a, a tooling gel, so it's it's more sandable. That's why we like that. Uh, and then the foam. There's not too much foam in here yet, but we'll be using more foam in the transom area for the, the curved areas. Uh, but what I got here is uh, just a small sample of a mold and a part that we've made. So, this first step, make the plug. Uh, then, when the plug, plug's done, we get it all nice and shiny, waxed up. Then we create the mold. That's the inverse of the finished part. And then we'll throw this away. We, we won't need it. So this here is the mold. So a small version of that. And then once we have the mold, then we can make the finished part. So this is gel coat and, and fiberglass. And there's some wood reinforcing in the back. So I hope that helps you out a little bit if you, if you don't quite understand uh, the concept. Okay, in our, our last video, we had this pretty much done. Uh, edges were still sharp. There was still a lot of sanding, fine-tuning the shape. Uh, so now, we've uh, got this platform done. This is where the hatch will be going. So we actually prefabricated this platform uh, off the boat and then uh, fit it on. And, uh, finish the dash area. So this is our windshield platform. And we've actually stepped up this dash area from the predecessor boat. The old style, it actually stepped down from the windshield base. Now we're stepping up, so we actually increased our headroom uh, doorway considerably. I believe the door is going to be about nine inches higher. And uh, our redesigned dash, you can't see it too well, but this is where the compass will sit. Uh, okay, we're in the back here, I should say stern area. Uh, we've done a lot of work here, as you can see. Uh, last video, there was nothing done. Uh, now we, this is the, the swim grid. Uh, so the engine well. We did a lot of uh, a lot of research uh, to figure out. We had to make sure all types of motors will fit: uh, Yamaha, Suzuki, Evinrude. Uh, those are the three main ones. So we actually uh, had some drawings, and we did a mock-up. Here's our mock-up of the Yamaha, as you can see. So we've, uh, we've mounted it on here, and we've tilted it, and, and turned it as it's tilted. Make sure we've got clearance. 
there it's from both uh, this area and the uh, the bulkhead, which is this piece here. So that will be sitting in here, something like that. So we wanted to bring it back as, as far as we could without uh, conflicting with the motors. So we maximize our space inside. And then the other item that we were checking was the auxiliary. This is our, our auxiliary motor. So it'll be on a bracket here, something like that. So we got that all figured out. We made some uh, radiuses, three inch radius uh, for the corners there. Uh, this is the uh, flush mount for the ladder. It just flips, to, flips down a bit of fancy tooling in here. This has got a, a slight curve to it uh, the way through. So that's what we're working on now. We are uh, creating these, the side section. I'll show you the, the drawing here. You can see that. Uh, so just this area in here. Can you see that? Good. So we've cut back our our old deck that we started with. We've chopped out uh, this section of, of the deck where it, it joins the hall. And so from there, it's, it's, it's going to change. So if you were to take a, uh, a straight edge, it'll be straight. Anywhere vertically along here, it will be straight. But uh, the angle changes as we go aft. So this is going to be about uh, six degrees. And this is more like uh, 30, I think it's about 30 degrees from uh, a vertical. So it's going to have a twist in it. And what we're going to use to create that shape is uh, this foam here. It's, a, it's kind of a resin core high density foam. And it, uh, it's very, very firm, but it, it sands nicely. And um, this, this is basically our edge of the top. See the drawing again. Uh, this is the top edge to this point here where it starts to curve. So that point is about right here. So that's kind of a rough, a rough edge. So right now we're gonna we're gonna put some wood backing to uh, mount this foam on, and then we'll start uh, shaping it. And we'll do the both sides, uh, and then from there we're gonna do the uh, the curved big the big curve. You see that right in here. So that'll be next after this side's done. So here we are. Um, we're getting there. It's a little slower than I had hoped. Uh, but uh, tune in for the next video. That'll be video number five. We should have these done and starting to work on this. Uh, I should say that we are getting a CNC machine. If you're familiar with those. It's a 5 by 10 feet uh, table and it, 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 right now it, it, it's going to have a 3 inch vertical axis. Uh, I might modify it so we can get uh, a little more out of it. But we'll be using that to uh, help us uh, with some of this tooling. So hopefully by the next video we'll be able to show you some of that too.